close. You're too fat to roll over. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. This is Kevin and we are back in the eBay cave. And this is the first video after the three 1,000 subscriber videos. And I want you to make sure if you haven't already to go back to the previous three videos. And it starts with the one with my family sitting on the back deck. And then the next two videos in uh, chronological order there and comment on those videos and we're going to pull a name from each of those three videos and there'll be three winners and we'll do that in a couple days from now so don't forget to go back and do that when you get a chance if you haven't already we are um, we had some pretty good day a pretty good day in sales 211 dollars not nothing amazing but pretty solid for for what we've been doing lately uh, now that i'm back at school and teaching so have some interesting items going out and I always love to have those sale. Let's take a look at what's sold. This first item here, the old Joe Camel hat, looks like probably an early 90s hat, probably made in, made, uh, probably made in Taiwan or Korea, what we got? Made in Taiwan, made in Taiwan, uh, early, which means probably early 90s. Um, China hat started to come in in the late 90s, but uh, it's in okay condition. It wasn't perfect, it's got a little bit of uh, cleaning maybe needs to be done here i paid a quarter for it and this is a 13 dollars 41 cent sale so nothing amazing but about eight bucks profit all right now this is one of my favorite buys and one of my favorite sales in a long time so this was two dollars and it was at uh, the tree of life yard sale and this is the one that i went on with uh, a former student of mine daniel if you're out there i'm sure you remember this when you actually found it and I went back and I bought it. I paid $2 for it is all they wanted. I thought, oh, I'll put this in my room. And that's why you pointed it out to me, if I recall, because, you know, I, I'm a history teacher and I taught you history, actually. And you said, hey, what about this thing? And, and I thought, well, you know what, I'll put this thing in my room. I like it. And I thought, you know what, that thing will sell. It'll sell to some library somewhere and they'll put it up on the wall or something. Or it'll sell to somebody like me, somebody who teaches history. Um, I've got Michelangelo's David uh a bust in my uh, not the whole thing mind you that's a little racy but the the head i have in two different places in my classroom so i thought maybe putting michelangelo in there might be good too but um i did find a comp on there for about 70 dollars, but it wasn't sold and so i decided to put it out there for 50 bucks plus shipping and it took a little while it's been about a month but it sold for 50 dollars plus shipping so really happy with that and I told Turner I said Turner hey I sold Michelangelo he's like why did you sell Michelangelo you know he thought it was a Ninja Turtles so um, when I showed it to him he's like oh, I don't want that thing all right next next item up is a viewer sale and this went out to Roy I think your name is Roy I watch your videos sometimes it's hard for me to remember the names uh, I do know your name is RK Treasure Center I've watched some of your videos you're pretty new to YouTube um, if I recall and I've watched some of your videos. Your wife's been on a few, if I recall. And you got a great little setup in, uh, I think it's your garage. And you got the storage above. And, and you've given us some tips. You've been uh, watching our show and, and helped me out with a few items. And I really appreciate you. Uh, this was a $13 sale, I believe. I think I paid a quarter for it out there, Roy. I bought it at a... Uh, Bought it at a yard sale not too long ago. It's got a little bit of fading here, and I put that in the listing. Uh, it's a size XL, and you said something about maybe uh, you, you've been playing golf lately. So we appreciate you watching. We appreciate the purchase um, very, very much. And uh, I'm going to ship this right off to you. Thanks, and we'll be checking you out on YouTube. And, and if you guys don't mind, go checking his channel out as well. Appreciate it. And I'll probably put a link somewhere in this video, maybe right up here or right up here or something like that. All right. Thanks, Roy. All right. So I was talking to somebody. I think I was talking to or leaving a message on a lot of Josh's channel the other day. And he's got this great little filing system. And even I've seen Lonnie has this inventory system that he's starting a little bit. And Lonnie's kind of like me. He just puts it and remembers. And I don't inventory anything. I just put, I mean, I have a small space. I have almost a thousand items listed in, in both of the stores and on Posh. And almost all of it is right here in this room. And I know I need to give you all a tour, especially if you haven't been around. And, and we'll do that sooner or later. Maybe in the dead of winter or something when we, we can't go out sourcing at yard sales. And I don't, I just put items in places that I've put items for years and years, for decades. 
And so I know I, this type of item, go, you know, this type of item goes here, right? And I put game pieces over here and I put these clothes here and I put clothes with collars here and I put sweaters here and I put jeans here and I put board games up here and I, I've just, I know where I put stuff. And so when I go to find it, so about once or twice a year, I have difficulty finding something or I've shipped something wrong out. So that's what I did with this item. So this item and two other little items sold for $6 and 21 cents, no, nothing big. Um, and I think what I did is I shipped the wrong item. I was supposed to ship this to somebody else with something and I shipped the wrong item. So what I'm gonna do for this, I could cancel the order, but I'm not. I'm gonna ship this and this instead of the other item that's supposed to go with this. And I'm gonna ship it off to the person and I'm gonna refund their money and say, hey, I'm sorry, my, my apologies. Um, you know, it's, you know, when you make a mistake, just eat it. It's not much cost to eat something small like this. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, next item's been sitting up here. You might have recognized it. It's sat up here in different places over 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 time here. You can come over here and look at some of this other stuff. And it is um, a Tonka truck. It's nothing amazing. It sold for seven bucks. I paid a quarter for it. Actually, I don't even think I paid a quarter for it. I think I got this for free. I remember the yard sale I got it from, and I got a ton of stuff for free. I did pay for some other stuff, and then he gave me a bunch of stuff for free. So I may have paid nothing for this. It's $7, so it's a it's a $3 profit. All right, so a, another Liberty shirt is sold, and this is Liberty Baseball, which I have a, a close connection to. Um, if any of my old buddies out there listening. And this is uh, a Nike Golf Standard Fit, Dry Fit shirt, and it's in really good condition. Sometimes the embroidery on these get pulled a little bit, but nothing too big. And it's uh, just a red striped Liberty shirt, and it's sold for $19.81, I believe, something like that. And uh, we're probably into it for about $3, $3, so it's close to a $10 profit. All right, so this is one of those old cable net polos, and I buy these occasionally if I can get them cheap. I won't buy them at the Goodwill for $3.99. It's just not really worth making six bucks on something like this because it's so long tail. But if I can get them for a buck or 50 cents at a yard sale, I usually pick them up, and it's starting to get to be that time of year where these kind of things are gonna sell. And this one sold for $18, so because I could get it for a buck at a yard sale, I'm gonna end up making 10 bucks on it. This is the kind of item that I look around, you know, somebody says, hey, you know, how much you want for X, Y, or Z? And they'll say five bucks. And I'll say, hey, will you take three? And they're like, no, I'll do five bucks. And I'll look around and I'll just find one more item, something like this. And I'll say, hey, all right, will you throw this in and we'll do five bucks? And they usually say yes. And so this is a, it's, this is a, a Bates 88P. And it was basically a throw-in deal to make a deal work. And this little stapler, believe it or not, sold for fifteen dollars, fourteen thirty. Okay, and it's going to cost you know three bucks to ship it, and it's going to be two dollars in fees. And so we're making ten dollars on this when I really bought another item that we're going to sell and make a lot more money on. So always look for those bundle deals and try to get enough knowledge to find items that you know, even if you're not sure. Even if you're not sure, go ahead and bundle an item with it anyways and go ahead and look it up at home. What's the worst that could happen? You just got a better deal on it. Now, the fact that we have a couple of booths, I think is really, really instrumental. I think it's key in the whole scheme of things because I've been able to bundle so much where the cost of goods going to those booths are almost nothing. Um, they're like less than 10% of what we're, what, what's coming in out of the booths. So we're not making a ton of money on them, but we're getting better prices on the purchases. And so those booths are paying off in those ways, even though we still need to show you what we made in the month of August. So I'm gonna hopefully get Blue Ridge Mama to sit down with me and show you in the next couple of videos how much money we made out of those booths. About what we were expecting, I think a little bit more than we were expecting the first month and a little less than what we hope to be getting every month. So uh, join us next time. We appreciate you coming and don't forget to go back and comment on those videos. And I think most of the people I've asked um, are gonna want John Cincinnati Pickers hat, so, um, which is great. And, uh, and, and it just depends on who wins, I suppose, who wants uh, Cincinnati Pickers hat, so. Um, 
I'm sure John, if you don't believe me, you can you can message John out there and he'll tell you it's the real deal. I actually have I might I might put in the note that he wrote with the uh with the whole big package just to to prove it to you skeptics out there. At any rate, thanks again, John. If I didn't thank you for for signing this hat, I really appreciate it. And hopefully you guys come back and keep watching us. And we appreciate you out there and we'd love to hear from you and we love the comments and thanks so much for the compliments about my kids, um, about my wife, and of course the compliments about Sophie. See you next time. The first thing we have going out today is one of those items and we're going to give a little update on the Happy Little Accident Haul. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't been watching, go back and look at the Happy Little Accident Haul. It's got a thumbnail of Bob Ross on it and you can check that one out. It was just a yard sale where we basically came back three days later and, and picked the whole yard sale because they had to get out of town and we just went in and picked everything that was left. Spent 200 bucks and brought it home and I made a prediction that we would make $2,500 off of it. We have not made anywhere near that yet, but we still have quite a few items out there. Um, and I need to add to the list. Actually, I'm going to do it today. We got an update from um, one of the antique booths, and I think we sold $17 or $19 worth of Halloween items at one of our booths. So if you better get back there, girl. You know you're not supposed to be on that table. You're supposed to stay on your perch. <laughs> you see how well she listens to me. You stay right there. No, you stay. So... The item that's going out is some old world ornaments. Okay, I'll show you all four of them here. These are old world ornaments. You'll see that they have that little tag right there. It says OWC on it. And surprising, they're not Thanksgiving ornaments or Halloween ornaments, although we have sold a few of those. Okay. And those four ornaments went for $29.81 free shipping. So after fees, after shipping, we're going to make about $20, $21, maybe $22, somewhere around there, $21.50 on, on that deal. So we're going to add that to the list and tell you where we're at. All right, so added those in the Halloween decorations that sold at Needful Things Antiques down in Bedford on North Bridge Street. If you're ever in town and want to go check that place out, I think we're uh, upstairs at Needful Things. You can go check out our booth, grab a card in there, and uh, and uh, contact me. I might show up down there. You never know. Uh, we're at $910. All right, so with the $19 of Halloween decorations that sold last month out of Needful Things, we just got a report from them. Uh, that brings our grand total to $910 for the Happy Little Accident Haul. Hopefully going to get to $2,500. I'm very certain, uh, fairly certain we're going to get to $2,000. But I initially said $2,500 and Blue Ridge Mama said $2,000. So I'm hoping we at least get closer to $2,500 than we are closer to $2,000. So we can uh, uh, give her a little bit of trouble. But I have a feeling she may be right. Don't tell her. Next item I already packaged up. I don't know what exactly I was thinking, to be honest with you, but it's already packaged up, ready to be shipped out. And this is a TI-83 Plus. Um, and it is not in the greatest condition, but it is working, and it sold for $27. So this is going... I can't remember where this one's headed. I think this one may be going to California as well. All right, last but not least, another LU shirt from the massive Liberty University buy we had. And you can go back and look at those yard sales about a month ago now and we've been selling these like crazy lately now that uh, school's back in session and the football team is is uh playing again um they lost to syracuse the other day so you know a big win like that and we would have a massive sale of lu stuff uh liberty beat baylor university in baylor two years ago and I sold like 12 things that night. So anytime there's a big win. When the Liberty basketball team made it to the uh, NCAA tournament, I sold a ton of stuff. So any big wins is good for my bottom line most of the time. I did have a Virginia Tech shirt sell a few days ago um, in the fourth quarter of a Tech game where they were losing. So I find that interesting. And there's another thing. I, I have some baseball jerseys and jackets and things like that coming near the playoffs especially jackets if the team's going to make the playoffs it's going to sell for a little bit more money so i'm even though i'm not a cardinal fan i'm rooting for the cardinals a little bit mm -hmm.